Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to remind my good friend from Massachusetts that I don't think you'll find anybody on this side of the aisle or in this chamber that's more of a hawk on Russia than me and Vladimir Putin. I'd gladly condemn Putin. And let's not forget, Putin is a communist. This is a man that started his career as a KGB uh, agent. So this, this resolution clearly covers Vladimir Putin. We all condemn him. Additionally, I'd like to remind the gentleman that the first time I ever spoke on the House floor, I waited weeks to speak as a freshman. The first time I spoke, though, was on anti-Semitism. I spoke to condemn the shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Squirrel Hill, Pennsylvania. So I'd like uh, to remind my friends across the aisle that uh, we have been mischaracterized by some of the comments that were just said. But let's talk about uh, who won't condemn socialists. We had a ranking member, a Democratic ranking member in the Rules Committee hearing yesterday who was given the chance to condemn uh, Xi, would not do it, chance to condemn uh, Putin, would not do it, chance to con condemn Pol Pot, wouldn't do it, and a litany of other uh, socialists and communists. So, so I would just like to remind my friend from across the aisle that members on his side refuse to condemn socialists and communist dictators. But I, th I find it rich that there's a um, question over the definition of socialism. Remember, for the last two years, my friends across the aisle couldn't even define the term woman. Uh, we, we had that rigmarole where they couldn't define woman and refused to acknowledge science that there were different sexes. Uh, but now they can split hairs between the difference between socialism and communism. It's absolutely laughable. But let's just define socialism since we're here having this debate. Socialism is a political and economic theory of social organization which advocates that means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned by the community as a whole. And it's not me saying that socialism leads to communism. That's Marx saying that. That's Lenin saying that. Because part of their entire theory was you had a transition period between socialism, I'm sorry, between capitalism and communism. That transition period, they called, again, Lenin and Marx, they called that socialism. So let's be very clear what we're talking about. Let's not play games with language, especially when we can't even define incredibly basic terms uh, that, that even kindergarten students could uh, could define. But let's